Every girl should know what is lupus. Lupus is an autoimmune disease. According to the Lupus Foundation of America, 9 out of every 10 women suffer from this disease. The word most frequently spoken regarding this disease is unpredictable. It is a disability cannot be described, because the whole thing about lupus is so unpredictable. Among the ways lupus cannot be predicted, it strikes at any age, with little racial or ethnic preference. Worst of all, symptom severity not only varies from patient to patient but also over a person's lifespan. Many a time it is misdiagnosed as various types of arthritis. If not correctly diagnosed, the lupus affects the kidneys and results in shutting down. With early prevention, lupus can be kept from spreading to organs like the kidneys or in some cases, a patient's heart or brain. Therefore, every young woman should be educated about what to look for. What are the signs of lupus? Debilitating fatigue is the very first symptom. The most common symptoms for both females and males are extreme tiredness, headaches, painful or swollen joints, fever, anemia, swelling in the feet, legs, hands, or around eyes, chest pain when breathing deeply, sun or light sensitivity, hair loss, abnormal blood clotting, fingers turning or blue when exposed to cold, mouth and nose ulcers, a butterfly shaped rash across the cheeks and nose, this common rash reminds of a wolf's bite hence the name lupus, Latin for wolf. Some people look completely normal but they feel awful, on doing the smallest task, and is impossible. The disease is often isolating, because, you look so normal on the outside and looks completely fine, that is probably the biggest thing. It is often called the great imitator. Lupus symptoms often mimic those of heart, lung, muscle, and bone diseases as well as blood disorders, diabetes, thyroid problems, Lyme disease, fibromyalgia, and rheumatoid arthritis. This sharing of symptoms suggests to some scientists, lupus is connected to autoimmune and hormonal disorders. Lupus does not run in family. The only thing that does run in family is psoriasis which is another autoimmune disorder. Many lupus patients are diagnosed with a second or third autoimmune disorder at some point in their lives. Anyone who is diagnosed with one of the autoimmune disorder or a family history, should be on the lookout for lupus symptoms. By catching lupus early, one may be able to avoid a dramatic flare-up that can nearly kill her. There is a genetic component to lupus but carrying the gene does not mean one will develop lupus, environment and hormones also play a role. Scientists believe estrogen is involved, due to the higher incidence among women and the average age range for diagnosis. It is predominantly diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 44 and that is the time when women are most fertile. In fact, Many women are first diagnosed while pregnant or after giving birth, when their hormones are in flux. Once diagnosed, a patient can take medication to help manage their symptoms, and, there are a number of appropriate and effective drugs. It includes, immunosuppressants that are used as chemotherapy along with an anti-malarial drug. Steroids are a good quick fix when some ions in a flare-up though here the drawbacks include long-term effects, such as weight gain and mood changes. In 2011, the Food and Drug Administration approved the prescription drug Benlista, the first drug developed specially for the treatment of systemic lupus erythematosus. There are a lot of drugs in the pipeline and are undergoing research. Treatment matters, yet support is crucial. Lupus patients often live long, productive, and happy, but to stay healthy, they must monitor their own symptoms. Though self-awareness can be challenging in a busy world, a busy life. That is the hard thing with lupus, the unknown of when we're going to have a bad flare-up. Patients of mild, moderate, or severe flare-ups at any time. Stress, common cold, and working too hard can trigger a flare-up. Generally, lupus patients are type A people who may need some help but somehow they make it work. People with lupus are probably the most courageous people and the most in tune with their bodies.
At the end of the day, they are going to be the one to get themselves out of bed. Thank you.